Hello everyone. Welcome to POC TV. Today we are going to see how to install iMovie in a MacBook. Open your App Store. In the App Store, on the left hand side search bar, search for iMovie. Although you have an Apple MacBook, <clears throat> Apple don't install the iMovie by default. But you need to search in the App Store and then install it. If you have already installed the iMovie, when you search the iMovie in your App Store, you will basically see a open button instead of a download button. So I have installed the iMovie already in my MacBook. So it is showing open. In case if you haven't, you will basically see the download button, click on it and enter your iStore password and then get the app installed. Once the app is installed, you can open the app either by going to the, you know, the command space if you give there will be a spotlight search in that you can search for iMovie so you will get it in the top open it this iMovie takes an almost uh, 1.5 gig in your macbook make sure you have a reasonable space so once you open you will see a window like this. What's new in iMovie? Cinematic mode optimized for Apple Silicon processors. And then you can import new iMovie from iOS project types. So say continue and you will see screens like this. On the left hand side, you will see projects. You can go to iMovie and then say import movie or import iMovie iOS projects. If you want to create a new one, you can go to my media and take the videos inside the iMovie. So here are some examples we have. But if you want to take a new one, click on this download option which is import video from a camera or folder on your computer. So by clicking on this, it opens uh, the file explorer where you can explore the files inside your machine and then take them. So for example, if you go to movies, take any recorded video and select that and import all you can see. Once you do that, you will see uh, videos got imported here so in the timeline i'm just basically deleting all this so in the timeline this is how it looks like when you come for the first time on the left hand side in the project media you will see my movie photos all events my library so this is basically your library and then you, can, you will have a My Media option, an audio and video option. If you have any audio files, you can import them, something like this. And then titles. These are some of the predefined titles, templates. You can use them. And then backgrounds. Then transitions. So today we are going to see, you know, how to uh, import videos inside the iMovie and then how to create a, a small movie and then add some titles and backgrounds and some transitions for the same. So to start with, after you import all the videos inside your My Media, My Movie section, drag them into the bottom of the page. You see drag and drop video clips and photos from the browser. So this section is basically the browser so when you drag and drop here it will basically automatically expand 
and it will show the full length in a hundred percentage expansion so in case if your video is extremely large you know it will be a little difficult to edit in this mode so what you can do you can make it shrink smaller to show it in a very small space so in this mode the editing is more easier in in reality because the every second is being expanded completely if i click on here you will see yeah this particular second will be shown it's one second you know it's two second now see this this big block is basically one second that that's how much it is expanded now so if you want to shrink this to to very small you can use this particular section here so shrink it to half so now you will see very small where you can see the one second two second three second you know you see the seconds are changing here very fast so with that if you want to cut something shrink and something and edit something you can do whatever changes you want to make in this video so now i have added the starting video which is just for an introduction and then i am adding something in the middle and then so as soon you add you can see there is a black mark in the front and back so that's how your video one and video two is being divided basically so if i play from here you know you will see the next video is popping up and there are some recording happened and which is not necessary for your purpose so you may need to trim this so in order to trim this you know until the video actual video starts you know i can select this particular section and then right click on that do a split clip so what does what does this do basically splits the unwanted section from the other video so you can select on that and then right click uh, delete so it just goes away likewise now you have a perfection here so you can exactly select that spot right click split click again so this is also i don't need it right click delete so now if i play this again see it is immediately starting from the video i wanted so all the unwanted recordings are gone so that's how you can edit the video to trim it so now there will be an interesting section here in terms of uh, moving from one video to other video because it's a two different videos a transition need to be very smooth so that your viewers don't feel bad you know oh what happened just something is just flashing so it won't look nice to make your video much nicer you may need to add some smooth transitions so when the timeline moves from one video to other video you will see a big difference keep watching see there is a a flicker in a microsecond to make this you know flicker go away you know there is a easy way you can use transitions which is given here in the top menu you know this is the last one after the backgrounds so here there are a lot of predefined transitions so you know just pick one circle open so what you need to do select the video you want and then double click on the transition you want so what happens you see there is a difference here the black color lines which was small before is now become uh, up, you know the two arrows facing each other so basically it is doing a transition see how it is opening wow look at the right hand side this section see see this is how it opens and then it just keep goes and then again it opens so with that you don't see a flicker rather there will be a animated transition pretty smooth and then it just uh, makes the viewers much better 
you know you can modify this transition by double clicking on that you know i think the maximum they allow in the imovie is 1.5 seconds you can say either apply or apply to all so depending on the size of the video so now i'm keeping it as 1 second so if i start the video again see you will see a much difference now see there is no flicker rather there is a smooth transition between video 1 and video 2 small circle open this is very smooth so that's how you can make it so if you want to make more informative you can add titles in between your videos so by clicking on the the menu in the top titles you have lot of predefined title options you can choose whichever you like i'm choosing the paper model so double click on that wherever there is a control it basically places the title there and you can see on the preview section a name and description is shown so you can double click on that and say how to make video in imovie and description and say poc tv so now if i go back here if i play this see when the cursor moves you will see it appears so basically we didn't click on the enter so it's not saved so i'm doing again how to make video in imovie poc tv make sure you enter the details and click enter keyboard carriage return so now it is saved so if you play again when the transition moves you will see how to make video so see small snippet appears and the best way to you know make this reappear is select on that because your video length may be very long like a 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes if you want to show them viewers this is the channel you are watching and this is the video you are currently looking at so you can click on this and right click on that copy then move, make your video smaller if you want by using this option and then you can click on so this is the full length of the video so i am clicking on somewhere in the middle so which is 5 minutes i am pasting it here right. or you can use the keyboard function command v so it pasted here and then i am pasting again at the end one once at the end double click on the location you will see yellow line time liner appear control v again paste it here so if i click on here you will see the same thing again see it pops up again so that's how you can make this titles look in various places there are many templates to choose from so again we need to add another transition after this video so you know this is something not necessary in the end so i may need to cut this so you already learned that you know you guys now know how to split this video and then remove this particular part from the video right click split clip select the one which is not not necessary right click delete so now you lost that so only the required portion is available again go back to transitions and then now i am saying okay circle to open is what i have used now i say circle to close so that has been now chosen see and then i am adding my last video my media i am putting my end video selecting that and then 
using my one finger to drop it here. So now I dropped it. So again, I'm choosing my transitions because I have added a new video. The transition is moved to the end. So this place, we need to add another transition. So you can go to transition and say, I want this cube one. Okay. So if I click on here, you know, when the transition moves, you can see the actual transition happens. Yeah. So it's actually very fast. So you couldn't see, but actually when the actual video plays, you will be seeing that. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video, how to make a, your own video in iMovie, including editing and all that. So in the next session, I will show you more options like how to you know do the final touch up on the video, how to add additional audios and then make the uh, sound of the video completely you know same across all videos. Um, likewise, there are a lot of tips and I also give you how to export the video and all that. So I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.